just lit the candle Sherry gave me in our box swap. Very excited to have that lit. I had this one going, but it's done now. I don't think I showed you guys this one. It's the sand and fog. They always have the cutest little covers. I save these for coasters. <laughs> but very excited for this one. It smells really good. Hey guys, so I decided to let the kids stay home today. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm just like over the school routine. Anyway, uh, Florence was supposed to go on some sort of field trip. She wasn't feeling it. So she stayed home. And then Alex, I was like, let's just, you just stay home. He's like, oh my. So he's so excited. So I have the kids home with me today and we're just having a chill day. I wish it was nice out because it's really cloudy and it's only like 19 right now, which still that's a nice day but it's not hot or anything so it would have been nice if we could do like a beach day but whatever anyways i'm playing animal crossing i never play well i mean i shouldn't say that i'll play for maybe 15 20 minutes every few days like i just check in i haven't actually like played in a long time because with the weather getting nicer like i just hate sitting inside like i'm always outside so I'm playing and I'm enjoying myself. It is such a nice relaxing day. It's so good. I, we needed this. I just, I'm so happy when my kids are home with me. Like, I don't know. I just, it makes me feel so happy. So I'm so excited for the summer with them. But they are going to school Thursday and Friday. And then we're on summer break. I can't wait. Anyways, do you want to see something? This is, this is literally exciting for no one, but look at my little treasure chest. <laughs> I have to update my dream address. I have not updated my dream address in like over a month. So I'm going to do that. So my dream address for Animal Crossing is always in the description below. If you have Animal Crossing and you want to visit my island, I'll update it today so you guys can see it. But anyway, that's today. We're having a very relaxing day. Mom's coming for supper. I wanted to try, we got the, the, um, blaze pizza here now. I want to try it. Um, but I don't know how you do it. I think you have to go in. I don't know exactly what blaze pizza is. Trevor was explaining it to me and I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'd like to try that eventually, but we're not trying it today. But let me know in the comments below if you've tried blaze pizza, if you have it where you live or if you live here and you've tried it. Let me know if it's any good. Look at me, pure relaxation mode. I have a bit of housework to do, but I'm just gonna leave it for right now. It's finally time. It's been time. I gotta wax my eyebrows. I don't think I've waxed them in months. It's been a long time, but I just do them myself. I say this every time, but I used to be an esthetician. That was my job before I had my babies. I also worked at a hospital, actually, when I was pregnant with Alex. Anyway, so I do my own waxing. I actually really enjoyed waxing. Waxing and pedicures and facials were my favorite thing. I'm doing my lip also. Sometimes I forget what stories I've already told you guys, but when I was in aesthetic school, you learn on each other, right? Like you're each other's test on me. So we were learning how to do eyebrow waxing. Oh my God, I hate doing that so much. The girl that did my eyebrow, she actually waxed my brow from here on out. She waxed the whole thing off and didn't, didn't tell me. Just was like, there you go, you're all done. Didn't tell me. I was like, oh, thanks. And then I go and look. This looks really weird right now because I, my eyebrows are really blonde right there. But once I fill it in, I looked in the mirror and I was like, what the heck? But I mean, it was her first time ever doing it and I didn't really care. I knew it would grow back, but I was like, you didn't even tell me. <laughs> like, okay. I'm guilty of waxing someone's eyebrow off myself though. Like before I was in aesthetic school, like I was just a teenager. I just had the interest 
of it. I didn't, I wasn't trained or anything like that, but I had a little wax thing that I got off of Sears catalog. And I was like, it was the day before my cousin and I were leaving to go to Florida. And I was like, come on over and I'll wax your eyebrows. And um, bring that hurts so I hate doing that. She came over, oh, mom's here. She came over and I did her eyebrows. I was like 16 years old. I had no idea what I was doing. And I waxed the middle part, or not right here. I'm sorry, I waxed right here. A big chunk right in there off of her eyebrow. The day before we left for our trip, I felt so bad. It was so embarrassing. I literally felt so bad. But anyways, I'm going to finish this up. I'll come back in a bit. Trevor's got supper. What's for supper today? Taco boys. Taco boys. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was gonna cook, but <laughs> we decided to do taco boys. Hi, Trevor. There's oh. almost retired mom. <laughs> Five more working days. We just got the taco kit, so everyone's gonna make their own tacos. Yeah, that's got nice. The meat, the veggies. Gonna give myself a little spa treatment. Sherry sent me this mask in our box, so I'm gonna give it a try. It says it's rose gold. Here we go. This is fancy. Oh, oh, oh hi. Oh my god. What? What? What, what do you mean? What happened to my face? What's what? <laughs> what? What's what? Nothing. Does my face look weird? I'm a unicorn, don't you know? I glow. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. Oh, it's beautiful out. Oh, it's so nice. So, having my coffee outside, enjoying the silence as the truck goes by. Enjoying the peace and quiet and silence of an empty house for the second last day. The kids are in school. Tomorrow's their last day. I always find the first day of school, this part of it is the hardest part to get used to, is the quiet house and the just being alone. That's, I always find, I always cry the first day of school. And now I'm obviously, I'm, I'm used to it, but now I'm just kind of like, okay, this will be the last, one of the last times in a few months where you have this, moment of just huh a airplane <laughs> that's a rare thing nowadays to see here airplane <laughs> anyway sorry i'm a nerd so today i like my makeup today i want to show you um it's a palette it's a palette from siate that i got in boxy charm and Oh, do you want to see my outfit? I feel like I show you guys my outfits all the time. Not that I have these like elaborate outfits, but I like sharing, showing. This is my outfit. It's a dress. It is from Old Navy, like probably seven years ago. <laughs> it's an old, it's an old dress, but that's okay. I found it in the basement when I was cleaning it, when we had the garbage bin, I found it. So I was like, oh my God. So anyways, today we're going to lunch with my sister. What else is new? But we're going to Bombay to get curry because mom will be joining us now that she's going to be retired next week. She's going to be joining us on our lunch dates and mom hates curry, like hates it. So we won't be going there much <laughs> anymore unless we go without my mom, but we don't really want to do that. We want to go with my mom. So we're going to enjoy some Bombay. And then we're gonna go out to the campground when the kids get home from school. I'm taking them straight to the trailer. We haven't been there in a while. There's gonna be people staying out at the trailer this weekend. Um, not us, but other people. So we wanna make sure that it's, you know, ready for them. Make sure the bedding is good. Put fresh sheets on the beds and stuff like that. And then they're leaving Sunday night. So we might go out Sunday night 
for the summer or go out Monday, I don't know. I go in a couple weeks to get my second dose of the vaccine. I got a text today about my appointment. So I was like, okay, yeah. So that's good. Bombay. She knew our order by memory. We're regulars now. We've arrived at the trailer. We got a new fire pit. Let's see. Oh, it looks good. It looks much better than the other one. Much better. We'll have to break that in tonight. How was your day at work? Good. Good? Good. Taking a little drive. It is a beautiful day today. So the kids and I decided that Monday is gonna be our official move out to the campground day. Every time we come out, we just never wanna go home. <laughs> That's the thing, we love it out here. We always do a stroll around the campground when we first arrive. We've ordered supper. We're gonna make sure the trailer's all good for everyone for the weekend and then we're gonna move out Monday. I think it will be nice. Can't wait. We have a fancy you camper here camping in a dress. Yeah. You know hey, what? Who's there, Alex? I wish there was holes in the side of this so air could get in. Alex, you wanna try it? You wanna try it? I've tried it before. You wanna do it? Here. Turn on the turn on the black knob. Your feet. Turn on the black knob, Jackal. Okay. Watch this in action. Okay. Click the little button on the bottom there. Click it. There Whoa. Go. Simple as that. Wow. Whoa. You put it right on the wood, Jacqueline Florence. Jacqueline, I mean, or uh Yeah, I'll go by Jacqueline. And go right on the wood. You can burn the woods. Look at that. That's what you call starting a fire. Okay, close the black knob. Yeah, I did. There you go. Sweet deal. Florence is going to burn her schoolwork. <laughs> nice. Now it's got to heat it with food. It's going to be nice. Ooh. Pretty simple way to start fires. <laughs> we really are glamping, aren't we? We do this every year, it's tradition. The kids burn their school work at the end of the school year. This was a very educational, good for the mind test. Guess what, I should burn all my work, my work stuff. What mark did you have on that one? I don't know. Let us see before you burn it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alex just throw it in. Didn't you finish this one? Because I put my name on it. That's about it. Talk to us class. Talk to us class. Look at the moon. Why is the moon so red? Why is it so close? It's definitely the moon. They're, I think they're taking pictures of the moon. Yeah, they are. The video's not doing it any justice. It's making it look like a big blob. I swear to you, it's pretty. That is cool. Now, now that's cool. That's really cool. Is that a full moon? It's a blood moon. We're heading home. The kids have school in the morning, and then we're on summer break. So I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you guys next.